What's the theme today? The perfect passaging of adherent cells, guiding you to avoid five major pitfalls. The consumables used today include alcohol cotton, pipette, T75 flask, blue pipette tips, and pipe dirt. Before starting the experiment, we disinfect the consumables with 75% alcohol and place them in the clean bench. Turn on the UV sterilization for 30 minutes. Start the water bath. Adjust the temperature to 37 degrees. And preheat the medium, trypsin, and PBS to be used later in it. The first pitfall, low temperature operation. Using media and reagents directly from the fridge damages cells. Take this time to view the cells under a microscope together. The confluency is sufficient and the state is good. Let's proceed with passaging. After disinfecting the outer surfaces of the preheated trypsin, medium, and PBS with alcohol, place them in the clean bench. First, aspirate the old medium with a pipette. Add PBS. Gently shake the flask to wash the cell layer, generally one to two times. Observe whether the cleaning solution is clear. Proceed with cell digestion next. Add trypsin. Tilt the culture flask to allow the trypsin to cover the cell layer. When the cell bottom appears white to the naked eye, with sporadic detachment, or under a microscope. When 80% of cells show rounded edges, terminate digestion by adding complete culture medium. This state varies by cell type and requires multiple trials to determine the optimal termination time. Some cells are highly sensitive to enzymes. Even a small amount of residual enzyme in the system may affect cell growth. Therefore, when the above state is reached, aspirate the enzyme solution. Residual enzyme on the cell surface will complete the digestion. The second pitfall, overdigestion, causes cell damage. The third pitfall, incomplete digestion, leaves cells tightly attached to the flask. After digestion, add fresh culture medium to resuspend the cells. When using square flasks, pipette cells from the bottom up in layer. The fourth pitfall, rough pipetting tear cells and excessive bubbles also damage cells. After pipetting, aspirate all cell suspension to confirm the total volume ever. Subsequent subculturing. Let's take a sample for cell counting. There are two subculturing methods for adherent cells. One based on counting results, and the other the ratio method. Here demonstrates a 1-10 ratio subculture. Take 1 milliliter from the 10 milliliter cell suspension and transfer it to a new culture flask. The fifth pitfall, too low or high seeding density, affects cell growth and experimental results. Besides fixed ratio subculturing, calculate seeding density based on the recommended cells per square centimeter in cell or medium instructions. After adding fresh medium, shake crosswise to prevent edge effects. Label the culture dish with the cell name, passage date, passage number, operator, flask number, etc. Now you have mastered key techniques for adherent cell subculturing. Follow us to unlock more cell culture secrets.